mentioned earlier, there was a nutrient that we used to get for free and now we have to pay for. And this is something that my brother is always complaining about with our fertility program. Oh man, now we gotta throw in a few dollars worth of this. We used to get it for free. Sulfur, sulfur is what we're talking about here. And the interesting thing with sulfur is we did used to get all we needed and more for free because of pollution in the air. So maybe as farmers, we should encourage people to go back to polluting the air so we'd get that sulfur no, for free. No, it's definitely <laughs> not worth it. We'll take that trade off. We can have a little cleaner air. We'll pay a little bit for sulfur because... Or we could just move to China. Well... You know, <laughs> well, I'm serious. When you have lots of air pollution, all the farmers in China are getting all the free sulfur they need just through air pollution and more. I think it's a good would, deal for the would, farmer. They would gladly give up <laughs> some of that sulfur if they happen if they happen to be in a bad air quality situation. Well, let's let's seriously get talking about sulfur because all of our crops do need a fair amount of sulfur. It's a secondary nutrient, which means the primary nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, we need those in the largest quantities, but the secondary nutrients like calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, we still need in pretty large quantities for our crops every year. Yeah, and here's the thing that I think you really have to focus on with sulfur is it is very leachable. Just like nitrogen, just like boron, sulfur can leach down fairly easily, especially in lighter soils when you have heavier rains. In other words, you can't just fertilize once every 10 years with sulfur. You probably need to add a little bit of sulfur every year, just like you do with nitrogen and boron, especially in crops that really need those nutrients. Sulfur plays a number of key roles in plant growth, including it's a component of amino acids, it aids in chlorophyll synthesis, helps activate enzymes, enhances nodule formation in soybeans, aids in photosynthesis. Sulfur in crop production is essential for protein formation. It helps with better quality proteins as well. Also helps with vitamin production in the plant. So there's so many things that sulfur does. That's why we're talking about it and focusing on it in this part of the show. Our main crops that we're raising, corn, soybeans, and wheat, all need a fair amount of sulfur, typically somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds per acre per year, depending on what your yield goal is. And as Brian was mentioning, it is leachable, so we don't want to overdo it, but you do need to add some in your program. Now, in addition to just getting sulfur into your plant, one of the great things about sulfur is it helps make your plants more efficient at utilizing nitrogen. So you say, well, man, I'm just gonna throw more nitrogen out, more nitrogen out. Maybe what you need to do is take some of those those dollars, put it towards sulfur, and you might get a little bit more out of the nitrogen dollars you're spending as well. Well, the other thing is, if let's say you're using liquid nitrogen, did you know that if you were to use ammonium thiosulfate, that actually serves as a pretty good nitrogen stabilizer, almost as good as some of the commercial products on the market. And the great thing about ammonium thiosulfate is it's just fertilizer. So what I'm saying is you get your sulfur, you put that sulfur out, which is what you needed to do anyway, and you get a side benefit of helping stabilize your nitrogen so you don't have as much loss with that nitrogen. Ammonium sulfate is a real common form of sulfur, and many farmers who are using dry nitrogen sources like urea, for example, are mixing some ammonium sulfate in to meet that sulfur requirement, but also the form of nitrogen in ammonium sulfate is pretty stable in the field as well. So there are a couple different benefits depending on which sulfur source you're choosing. Well, sulfur is a very important nutrient on the farm and it is often overlooked. We very commonly think of N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We don't think too much of sulfur and the reason why is because our dads, our grandpas, they used to get all their sulfur for free. We just don't have that anymore. We're having less air pollution every single year. So if this is a concern for you where you're raising a grass crop, especially like corn or wheat that needs lots of sulfur, you better take a look at fertilizing with some sulfur every year. Otherwise, you probably won't be able to maximize yield. Now you made one good comment there too. The grass crops especially need some sulfur like your lawn. If you want to get your lawn looking Looking a little bit better, try using some sulfur in the lawn as well. Whether it's calcium sulfate, which is gypsum, or ammonium sulfate, it's a good source of fertilizer for your lawn. It gets that sulfur out that you need. If you do try some, it should green up your lawn next year. Well, another thing that could green up your lawn a little bit is if you control weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this one coming up next. <laughs> 